Expand your vocabulary with our Core 2000 Words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Indonesian ebook before it's gone. When learning a new language, everyone should have an ultimate goal to work towards. Whether you want to be able to connect with a relative, easily order food while traveling, or go somewhere new, having an end goal for your learning can be very motivating. A popular but challenging goal is being able to speak like a native speaker. It's difficult to measure exactly when you reach this goal, and it's not something you can pick up using textbooks alone. So how do you work on making your speech more natural? That's what we're going to look at today. Here are three tips to help you practice talking like a native speaker. Number one, focus on vocabulary. If your goal is to speak like a native, you might be really focused on speaking quickly or using as many complex grammar patterns as possible. But in our native languages, we're not always trying to speak as fast as possible. And we use complex grammar patterns when necessary, not to show off. Vocabulary, however, is extremely important to expressing ourselves naturally. Your choice of words can reveal a lot about you and your understanding of the language. Most learners have had the experience of using a phrasebook or a dictionary to find a word they want to use, trying the word in conversation, and getting a look of confusion from the native speaker. In some cases, although your word choice may be grammatically correct, the word may be inappropriate for the situation or totally unnatural. This is especially important in business and other formal situations, where the right level of formality and professionalism is key. Being able to understand nuances in vocabulary words can also help you understand relationships between people just by listening to the conversation. Try to listen to many different types of conversations. Listen to how people talk to their friends, their superiors, and in customer service situations. This will give you a better idea of how to talk to others naturally. In some languages, you can omit words from sentences or use more direct communication styles. It's important to be aware of these things so you can apply them yourself. Colloquialisms and slang are also commonly used in most languages. As this sort of vocabulary is always evolving, it can be difficult to keep up with the latest words. Talk with native speakers and consume media in your target language to make sure you pick up these kinds of expressions. Media is a great resource for your learning. Ultimately, knowing the appropriate vocabulary to use for each situation will really help you sound more knowledgeable. Number two, perfect your accent. With every language, there are unique pronunciation and intonation challenges. Some languages are tonal languages, and a change in pitch can completely change the meaning of a word. Then there's the fact that most countries have multiple dialects, and so people from one area of the country may sound different from those in another. So what is the best way to listen to a wide range of accents and different pronunciations? Video and audio resources are a great way to do this. YouTube is a perfect place to start because people from all kinds of different backgrounds upload videos to the platform. You can watch educational videos, daily life vlogs, cooking shows, a travel series, whatever interests you. Pay attention to the different ways people speak. Everyone is unique. And then practice speaking like them. This kind of practice can help you sound more natural. One note, please be aware of the type of resources you're using. For example, if you find a video where a speaker uses a rare dialect, it might not be a good idea to use that for your pronunciation practice, unless you have a special reason for studying a specific accent. As a general rule, it's best to try to search for practice resources that use a standard form of the language you're studying. Number three, copy what you hear. Do you remember how you learned to speak as a child? We rarely learned new words just listening to them or reading after we learned how. When we were little kids, we imitated the sounds we heard by repeating the sounds out loud. While you're talking to a friend, watching videos, or listening to audio in your target language, you can do this to try and replicate the way they speak. Doing this will help you work on mastering the flow of the language, your accent, intonation, and pronunciation. Of course, you might also pick up some new vocabulary this way. Make sure to repeat new words often. It's a great way to make sure you remember them. Try doing this using a number of different mediums and sources. That way, you'll be exposed to the diversity that the language offers and master the fundamentals of pronunciation. For example, 
you can watch and imitate several different YouTube videos and audio CDs, but try a few different sources, like different creators or different audio types, to make sure you experience a wide range of communication in your target language. If you're using our language learning program, you can even get your own teacher with Premium Plus. Your teacher can answer questions, give assignments, and even listen to your recordings and give you advice on pronunciation. Completing these kinds of lessons with a native teacher can really boost your confidence in your speaking skills. Becoming able to speak like a native is a popular goal for many people learning a new language. It feels great to be able to communicate smoothly, especially when the people you're talking to expect basic level sentences or broken communication. Try using the tips we've shared in this video to work on improving your speaking skills. Of course, it'll take time and persistence, but the reward will be more natural communication. And for even more tips on speaking, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's the matter? After watching this video, you'll be able to make complaints and ask someone else if they're having any issues. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Making Complaints PDF cheat sheet for free. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Apa masalahnya? Kantornya panas. Once more with the English translation. Apa masalahnya? What's the matter? Kantornya panas. The office is hot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What's the matter? That's... Apa masalahnya? Listen to it again. Apa masalahnya? Apa masalahnya? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Kantornya... Adjective... The office is adjective. For example, the office is hot. Kantornya panas. Kantornya panas. Here are a few more examples you can use with the same pattern to make complaints. Hot. Panas. Panas. Cold. Dingin. Dingin. Noisy. Berisik. Berisik. Dirty. Kotor. Kotor. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Apa masalahnya? Kantornya dingin. Apa masalahnya? Kantornya berisik. Apa masalahnya? Kantornya kotor. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's the matter? Apa masalahnya? Imagine the office is cold. Do you remember how to say cold? Dingin. Dingin. Say, the office is cold.
kantornya dingin. Now answer the question saying the office is cold. Apa masalahnya? Kantornya dingin. Now imagine the office is noisy. Do you remember how to say noisy? Berisik. Berisik. Say, the office is noisy. Kantornya berisik. Now, answer the question saying the office is noisy. Apa masalahnya? Kantornya berisik. Now imagine the office is dirty. Do you remember how to say dirty? Kotor. Kotor. Say, the office is dirty. Kantornya kotor. Now answer the question, saying the office is dirty. Apa masalahnya? Kantornya kotor. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to make complaints. You are now able to share your concerns like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Make any complaints you may have today. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, how's your mother? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about well-being and ask how someone is doing. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Conversation About Family Well-Being PDF cheat sheet for free. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Bagaimana ibumu? Dia baik. Once more with the English translation. Bagaimana ibumu? How's your mother? Dia baik. She's fine. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say How's your mother? That's... Bagaimana ibumu? Listen to it again. Bagaimana ibumu? Bagaimana ibumu? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Dia... State of well-being. But it translates as... She is state of well-being in English. For example, she's fine. Dia baik. Dia baik. Here are a few expressions related to well-being that you can use with this pattern. Great. Sangat baik. Sangat baik. Fine. Baik. Baik. So-so. Biasa-biasa. Biasa-biasa. Not too good. Tidak terlalu baik. Tidak terlalu baik. Let's look at some examples. 
Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Bagaimana ibumu? Dia sangat baik. Bagaimana ibumu? Dia biasa-biasa saja. Bagaimana ibumu? Dia tidak terlalu baik. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how's your mother? Bagaimana ibumu? Imagine she's great. Do you remember how to say great? Sangat baik. Sangat baik. Say, she's great. Dia sangat baik. Now, answer the question saying she's great. Bagaimana ibumu? Dia sangat baik. Now imagine she's so-so. Do you remember how to say so-so? Biasa-biasa. Biasa-biasa. Say, she's so-so. Dia biasa-biasa saja. Now, answer the question saying she's so-so. Bagaimana ibumu? Dia biasa-biasa saja. Now imagine she's not too good. Do you remember how to say not too good? Tidak terlalu baik. Tidak terlalu baik. Say, she's not too good. Dia tidak terlalu baik. Now answer the question saying she's not too good. Bagaimana ibumu? Dia tidak terlalu baik. In this lesson, you learn new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about well-being. You're now able to talk about how someone is feeling like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell me how you are today. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Going to the mall. Yay, mall. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Blanca, and you're watching Indonesian Top Words. So today we're going to learn about 10 things to do in the summer in Indonesia. So I have to let you know that we don't have like summer, spring, autumn, and winter. So it's always like summer all year long. It's very good. So I'm not saying that you don't need these 10 things because we also have like vacation, but it's usually school vacation. So, or office vacation. So, yeah, it's always summer in Indonesia. Okay, the first thing. Bersantai di pantai. Bersantai di pantai. To relax at the beach. Bersantai di pantai. To relax at the beach. Saya suka bersantai di pantai. Saat akhir pekan, saya suka bersantai di pantai saat akhir pekan. I like to relax at the beach on the weekend. Belajar memasak 
Masakan Indonesia. Belajar memasak masakan Indonesia. To learn to cook Indonesian food. Belajar memasak masakan Indonesia. To learn to cook Indonesian food. Saya akan mengikuti kelas memasak masakan Indonesia. Saya akan mengikuti kelas memasak masakan Indonesia. I will take an Indonesian cooking class. Yes, I think you should learn how to cook Indonesian. Start with nasi goreng, fried rice, mie goreng, fried noodle, and so on and so on. And you have to, and you have to learn this because it's the best food, one of the best food in the world. Okay? Makan barbecue. Makan barbecue. To have a barbecue. Makan barbecue. To have a barbecue. Saya lebih suka makan barbecue di restoran. Saya lebih suka makan barbecue di restoran. I prefer to have a barbecue at a restaurant. Makan barbecue or to have a barbecue, it's not a very usual thing we do at home in Indonesia because we can just go to a closed um, street vendor and they sell like grilled chicken or grilled, grilled fish and it's easy, easier and uh, you don't have to prepare anything by yourself and just pay and leave. Yeah, you should try. You should try sate ayam, that means like grilled chicken. So, so good and cheap. Pesta semalaman. Pesta semalaman. To party all night. Next thing to do is Pesta semalaman. To party all night. Mereka pulang jam 5 pagi setelah pesta semalaman. Mereka pulang jam 5 pagi setelah pesta semalaman. They went home at 5 o'clock after partying all night. Berjemur. Berjemur. To get a tan. Berjemur. To get a tan. Dia sedang berjemur di balkon. Dia sedang berjemur di balkon. He is getting a tan at the balcony. So I don't think this is what Indonesian usually do because we already have a tan skin. So we don't do berjemur or to get a tan. Yeah. <laughs> Pergi mendaki. Pergi mendaki. To go hiking. Pergi mendaki. To go hiking. Kami akan pergi mendaki akhir pekan ini. Kami akan pergi mendaki akhir pekan ini. We will go hiking this weekend. Bekerja paruh waktu. Bekerja paruh waktu. To work a part-time job. Bekerja paruh waktu. To work a part-time job. Setiap hari Senin dan Selasa, saya bekerja paruh waktu di kafe. Setiap hari Senin dan Selasa, saya bekerja paruh waktu di Cafe. Every Monday and Tuesday, I work part-time at the cafe. Bersenang-senang dengan teman. Bersenang-senang dengan teman. 
to have fun with friends. Bersenang-senang dengan teman. To have fun with friends. Saya sering main ke mall untuk bersenang-senang dengan teman. Saya sering main ke mall untuk bersenang-senang dengan teman. I often go to the mall to have fun with friends. This is so true. Yes, we hang out at the mall every time when I was at school. You know, we mall is like the center of entertainment. We can do window shopping or just eating lunch, eat dinner, or just eat ice cream, yogurt, or just buy coffee and sit in the cafe for hours and hours and talking and that's it. Just small. It's like every day ritual going to the mall. Yay mall! <laughs> Mengikuti sekolah musim panas. Mengikuti sekolah musim panas. To attend summer school. Okay, and the next one. Mengikuti sekolah musim panas. To attend summer school. Adik saya akan mengikuti sekolah musim panas. Adik saya akan mengikuti sekolah musim panas. My sister will attend summer school. So, as I said before, we don't have summer or winter or autumn or spring. So, this is, in this case, it's true if he or she will attend summer school abroad. Yeah. It could be, wait, wait, summer is always like August, July, but I'm not sure. Probably it's only different in Australia. Is that correct? I don't know. Tell me. Tell me in the comments. Di rumah dan main internet. Di rumah dan main internet. To stay inside and browse the internet. Uh, I like this one. <laughs> Di rumah dan main internet. To stay inside and browse the internet. Kalau hari libur, biasanya... Saya di rumah dan main internet. Kalau hari libur, biasanya saya di rumah dan main internet. On holiday, I usually stay at home and browse the internet. So we have a saying for this in slang word means uh, lazy, too lazy to go out. And the slang word is mager. 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 It's from the words males gerak. It means too lazy to move or go out. And this usually when it's rainy outside or too hot, which is usually every day. Are you mager? Males gerak, too lazy to move when you're, it's raining? Then I'm the same with you. Okay, guys, this is the end of our lesson today. So now you know 10 things to do in the summer in Indonesia. Be sure to like if you like this video or subscribe. And don't hesitate to write any comments or question on the comment, comment section below. And don't forget to check our website at IndonesianPod101.com to check any other lesson in Indonesian. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video. And sampai jumpa lagi. Goodbye. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's your favorite number? 
After watching this video, you'll be able to say many numbers and ask someone their favorite number. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Talking About Numbers PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Tujuh. Once more with the English translation. Berapa nomor favorit kamu? What's your favorite number? Tujuh. It's seven. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What's your favorite number? That's... Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Listen to it again. Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Berapa nomor favorit kamu? This Indonesian sentence literally translates into How much is your favorite number? But it means What's your favorite number in English? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is number. In Indonesian, we only say the number as the answer. For example, it's seven. Tujuh. Tujuh. Here are a few more numbers you can use with the same pattern. Seven. Tujuh. Tujuh. Two. Dua. Dua. Four. Empat. Empat. Nine. Sembilan. Sembilan. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Dua. Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Empat. Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Sembilan. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's your favorite number? Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Imagine it's two. Do you remember how to say, two? Dua. Dua. Say, it's two. Dua. Now answer the question saying, it's two. Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Dua. Now imagine it's four. Do you remember how to say four? Empat. Empat. Say, it's four. Empat. Now, answer the question by saying, it's four. Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Empat. Now, imagine it's nine. Do you remember how to say nine? Sembilan. Sembilan. Say, it's nine. Sembilan. Now, answer the question saying, it's nine. 
Berapa nomor favorit kamu? Sembilan. In this lesson, you learned number-related phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about numbers. You are now able to count like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell us your favorite number. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Hello everyone, I'm Blanca, and you're watching Top Words. Today, we are going to learn top 25 Indonesian phrases. Are you ready? Halo. Halo. Hello. Okay, first one. Halo. Hello. We are saying this if we meet someone for the first time. Halo. Halo. Or you can say this on a telephone. Halo. Can I speak to... Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi. Good morning. Selamat pagi. Good morning. Selamat pagi. This is morning. Very, very good morning. Okay, the third one. Selamat sore. Selamat sore. Good afternoon. Selamat sore. Good afternoon. Selamat sore. Good afternoon. Selamat malam. Selamat malam. Good night. Selamat malam. Can you guess what it is? Yes, good night. Yeah, after afternoon, good night. Selamat malam. Siapa nama kamu? Siapa nama kamu? What's your name? Siapa nama kamu? What's your name? Siapa nama kamu? What's your name? Saya Blanca. Saya Blanca. I'm Blanca. To answer the previous question, I would say, Saya Blanca. My name is Blanca or I'm Blanca. Saya Blanca. Siapa nama kamu? What's your name? Saya Mika. I'm Mika. Senang bertemu denganmu. Senang bertemu denganmu. Nice to meet you. Senang bertemu denganmu. Nice to meet you. Senang bertemu denganmu. Or you can say, senang bertemu dengan kamu. Senang bertemu denganmu. Senang bertemu denganmu. Did you get it? Apa kabar? Apa kabar? How are you? This is like universal. Apa kabar? How are you? Apa kabar? Saya baik, terima kasih. Dan kamu? Saya baik, terima kasih. Dan kamu? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Saya baik, terima kasih. Dan kamu? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Saya baik. Terima kasih. Dan kamu? Mohon. Mohon. 
please. Mohan, please. Mohan, terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Did you get it? Terima kasih. Thank you. Sama-sama. Sama-sama. You're welcome. Okay, this next one is the answer to the previous phrase. Sama-sama. You're welcome. Sama-sama. You're welcome. So, if people say terima kasih, you can say sama-sama. Iya. Iya. Yes. Iya means yes. Iya. So, you can answer this if you're agreeing with something or you want to say yes. Or just ya. Yeah. Iya. Or ya. Yeah. Yes. Tidak. Tidak. No. If you want to say you disagree or you don't like something, you don't want something, you can say tidak. No. Tidak. No. This is the very formal way to say no, but usually we say nga. But that's like a casual, very casual and informal way of saying no. Tidak. Nga. Baik. Baik. Okay. Baik. Okay. Baik. Okay. This word means good, but it can be used if you say okay. It's also okay to use okay in Indonesia because they also understand okay. But in a formal way, you say baik. Permisi. Permisi. Excuse me. Permisi. Excuse me. Permisi. So you can use this if you are visiting someone's house and you're knocking at the door and knock, knock. Permisi. There's no one answering. Just keep saying, Permisi. Permisi. Until they came out. Saya minta maaf. Saya minta maaf. I'm sorry. 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 What did I do wrong? I don't know, but just say you're sorry. It works every, every phrase, every, every, every situation. Saya minta maaf. Jam berapa sekarang? Jam berapa sekarang? What time is it? Jam berapa sekarang? Can you guess what it means? Yeah, what time is it? Jam berapa sekarang? What time is it? I don't know. I don't have any watch. Di mana letak kamar kecil? Di mana letak kamar kecil? Where is the restroom? Di mana letak kamar kecil? I have to go. Di mana letak kamar kecil? Where is the restroom? Mohon tunggu sebentar. Mohon tunggu sebentar. Wait a moment. Mohon 
Tunggu sebentar. Wait a moment. Mohon tunggu sebentar. Wait a moment. Tutut. Hmm. The line you're calling is busy. Mohon tunggu sebentar. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Mohon tunggu sebentar. It's always busy. Berapa harganya? Berapa harganya? How much is this? Berapa harganya? How much is this? You can use this if you are shopping in a small shop. Mbak, berapa harganya? And you can even bargain for it if they let you. Just try. Mbak, berapa? Miss, how much? Tolong. Tolong. Help. Tolong. Help. Tolong. Help. Help, please. Mohon tolong saya. Sampai jumpa lagi. Sampai jumpa lagi. See you later. Sampai jumpa lagi. See you later. Sampai jumpa lagi. You can use this in the end of your meeting. Sampai jumpa lagi. Selamat tinggal. Goodbye. Selamat tinggal. This usually ends not very well because it means like you're not going to see each other again. <laughs> Selamat tinggal. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't like this. <laughs> Saya tidak tahu. Saya tidak Tahu. I don't know. Saya tidak tahu. I don't know. Saya tidak tahu. I don't know. So, yeah, if you were asked by someone about something and you definitely don't know, you should say this. Saya tidak tahu. I don't know. What's your hobby? Saya tidak tahu. I don't know. What do you know? Nah. Okay, guys, so that's the end of today's lesson. Let me know which is your favorite phrase of the day. Or if you have any question, don't hesitate to write in the comment below. If you like this video, please like this video and subscribe. And don't forget to check our website indonesianpod101.com to check other Indonesian lessons. Okay then, sampai jumpa lagi. Goodbye. Halo. Hi. Nama saya Edi. Siapa nama Anda? Nama saya Tuti. Orang Indonesia? Ya, saya orang Indonesia dan Mas Edi. Saya orang Amerika. Panas di luar. Iya, panas sekali. Karena musim panas sekarang. Di mana topi saya? Ini bukan. Bukan, itu topi kamu. Apa yang kamu lakukan setiap hari? Di pagi hari, saya selalu menggosok gigi saya. Bagus. Di malam hari... Saya menggosok gigi. Dan di sore hari, kamu sering bermain video game? Tidak, saya biasanya mengerjakan PR di sore hari. Bu, apa ini? Ini pohon beringin. Oh, apa itu? Itu keris. Oh, apa ini? Ini keluar. Oh, begitu. Mas Yono? Ya? Kerjanya apa? Kerja saya di bank. Mas Edi kerjanya apa? 
Saya guru di sekolah dasar. Oh begitu. Sekarang liburan. Ya, betul. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to ask and answer the question, how do you say this? After watching this video, you'll be able to ask someone how a word is pronounced. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your How to Say Something PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Ini lapangan parkir. Once more with the English translation. Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? How do you say this? Ini lapangan parkir. It's parking lot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, How do you say this? That's... Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Listen to it again. Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Ini... Word. It's word. For example, it's parking lot. Ini lapangan parkir. Ini lapangan parkir. Here are a few useful words you can use with the same pattern. Parking lot. Lapangan parkir. Lapangan parkir. Dog. Anjing. Anjing. Travel. Perjalanan. Perjalanan. Invasion. Serbuan. Serbuan. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Ini anjing. Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Ini perjalanan. Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Ini serbuan. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how do you say this? Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Now, imagine it's the word dog. Do you remember how to say dog? Anjing. Anjing. Say, it's dog. Ini anjing. Now answer the question saying it's dog. Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Ini anjing. Now imagine the word is travel. Do you remember how to say travel? Perjalanan. Perjalanan. Say, it's travel. Ini perjalanan. Now, 
answer the question saying it's travel. Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Ini perjalanan. Now imagine the word is invasion. Do you remember how to say invasion? Serbuan. Serbuan. Say, it's invasion. Ini serbuan. Now answer the question saying, it's invasion. Bagaimana Anda mengatakan ini? Ini serbuan. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to ask someone how something is said. You are now able to ask how to say something like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell us, which word do you think is the hardest to pronounce? Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. You've decided to study a new language. So now what? Well, you want to become fluent fast, right? Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight, but doing all of these can really help your learning process. And remember, if you're interested in getting on the fast track to fluency, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Start learning now. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. Today, we'll learn conversational phrases about occupations. After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about your job and ask what somebody does for a living. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your occupation PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Apa pekerjaan Anda? Saya seniman. Listen to it again. Now with the English translation. Apa pekerjaan Anda? What do you do? Saya seniman. I'm an artist. First of all, you need to learn how to say, What do you do? That's... Apa pekerjaan Anda? Listen to it again. Apa 
pekerjaan Anda? Apa pekerjaan Anda? This Indonesian sentence literally translates into what is your job? But it means what do you do in English? Now, how do you answer this question? This is the pattern you'll need. Saya your occupation. I'm a an your occupation. For example, I'm an artist. Saya seniman. Saya seniman. Here are a few more professions you can use with the same pattern. Police officer. Polisi. Polisi. Teacher. Guru. Guru. Doctor. 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 Engineer. Insinyur. Insinyur. Now, listen to some examples. Apa pekerjaan Anda? Saya guru. Apa pekerjaan Anda? Saya dokter. Apa pekerjaan Anda? Saya insinyur. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what do you do? Apa pekerjaan Anda? Imagine you're a doctor. Do you remember how to say, doctor? Doctor. Doctor. Say, I'm a doctor. Saya dokter. Now answer the question saying that you are a doctor. Apa pekerjaan Anda? Saya dokter. Now, imagine you're a teacher. Do you remember how to say teacher? Guru. Guru. Say, I'm a teacher. Saya guru. Now, answer the question saying that you are a teacher. Apa pekerjaan Anda? Saya guru. Now, imagine you're an engineer. Do you remember how to say engineer? Insinyur. Insinyur. Say, I'm an engineer. Saya insinyur. Now, answer the question saying that you are an engineer. Apa pekerjaan Anda? Saya insinyur. Well done! In this lesson, you learn new occupation-related vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life. You are now able to talk about your job like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell me about your job. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Expand your vocabulary with our Core 2000 Words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Indonesian ebook before it's gone.